This is Master Carpenter Lewis Thomas. And uh, turn off the flash on there too, because that's too much brighten on here. How do you do that? Okay, let's do. Oh boy, they won't show you that. Stop. Oh, actually, that don't look bad. That don't look bad. It's a little glare, but that's all right. Okay, this is Lewis, Carp uh, Lewis Thomas, Master Carpenter. And what we're going to do is work on. I'm going to show you some basics of how I go about doing bastard pitches, mixed pitches, uneven pitches, whatever you want to call them, okay? Now, I'm going to show you an easy way to do this. Now, look at my tape measure. Now, act as if this is a piece of plywood, okay? And you want to graft it out, okay? This is what you do. If you got a, a 812 pitch, in other words, it's, it's 12 inches, it's a 12 inch pitch on one side, 1212 on one side, and 812 on the other side. This is what you do. Look at this. So simple. So simple. Now, I want to show you how I got most of it, all this. I'm not going to use this real go er, elaborate. Can you see down here too, baby? Yes. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, all you do is this, y'all. You know, the guys that know how to do this, for some reason, they don't want to teach people. But you just do this. You go 12 inches here, and you, you make a little line, you know. You make a little dot at 12. Take your uh, pencil, you know, hook it onto your tape measure, and just make a little line like that. Then you go to the other side of the 90 degrees of the sheet, and you make eight. And you make a little eight mark right on the 12 inch mark that you made. You see that? So let's say this is the first mark that I made for my 12. Because you see 12, it goes all the way through. Okay? And then you make you connect those two points or scribe or snap a line, however you do it, at 12 inches. Then what you do is you come up that same line that you snap 8, 12, and you go to 8. You make a mark there on that 12 inch line, which is would be this black line, and then what you do, you come all the way down to this corner here on your plywood, okay? And you could take a, you could take a framing square or you could, I, I, would, I would suggest that you take a, a framing square first. Put it on the corner and line it up with that and and guess what? You've just drawn your hip. You're just drawing your hip. Now, I mean, this is pretty good. You've drawn your hip here, so let me keep going. The other thing you do after you do that, or you can do after you do that, because you could do this several ways. Now you want to draw and imagine you want to draw out exactly how your wall is going to be. So don't pay any attention to the this line and this line, okay? Let's act as if this 90 degree corner, orange, 90 degree corner here is an outside wall, okay? So, you go, and it's, let's just deal with, we're not going to deal with brick and all that. So, it's 12 inches here, 12 inches here. Now, why do you have 12 inches, 12 inches? Because that's how long your overhang is going to be for all the tails of all your rafters, okay? It's going to be a 12 inch overhang going all the way around the house. All right. So when you make your first 12 inch mark, you make a little mark right here. And then you make a 12 inch mark right here. And you bring those two and meet them. And the same thing on your other end of the 90 degree of the sheet. 12 inches, 12 inches. And you connect those two points. Now you got an outside corner for the corner of the house. Now, you want to figure out how far your hip is going to set back on your wall. So easy. So you just carry this line all the way through to the wall, to the outside, to the building line, okay? To the framing mark, the framing line, or the building line. And then what you do, you measure from the corner, and look at that, six inches. That is awesome. So you know exactly on the wall, plate or the top plate how far that you're going to have to come to the center of the hip 
this the center of the hip. And then you just, all you do then, after you get the center of your hip right there, that mark on, what you do is you just go an inch and a half, three quarters of an inch on each side of that line, and that's an uh, inch and a half. And then you do the same thing down here, because you got a center line already, and you do three and a half, three and a half on each side. You connect the lines, you connect the lines on each side, and that's your, that's your hip. So you know exactly where you're supposed to be. And so from this, you're able to go up on the wall plate and you're able to actually find, come here, Judge Real, hurry up. I guess I should have had my speed square here. No. Go get my speed square right away. Hurry up. So all the angles you need for your jacks, all the angles you need for your hips, all the angles that you need are right here. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you something here. If you take your speed square and put it on your plywood, and you take this corner here and line it up with this corner here, I'm going to tell you what the degree is going to be. Now, I know how to do this on the calculator as well. I can do this on the calculator as well. I'm going to show you this. Okay? So... Okay, I'm doing something wrong here. All right, this is the way you do it. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> we get it. You can do it here or here. Okay, let me see. So it's like 36 degrees right there. 36 and something degrees, okay? So, so one side of your bevels on your jack is going to be 36 degrees. What side is going to be 36 degrees? I want to give you a good rule of thumb. If you have a, a high pitch and a low pitch, the high pitch is going to be the lowest amount of degrees. So the 36 degree bevel is going to be on this side, on this side. And 36 from 90 degrees, 36 uh, from 90 is going to give you what? 50, 36 from 90 is 52 degrees. Oh, 47 degrees. Oh boy. Let me see. But whatever 46, 30, let's see, 36 degrees, it's going to be like 40, yeah. no, it's going to be 52 uh, degrees or something like that. So it's going to be 52 degrees that the bevel for these rafters are going to have going into the hip on this side. So you got everything that you need right here. And another thing I failed to forget in closing, this right here is the subfascia. Here and here. You see I got an inch and a half. Can you see that line real good? I got an inch and a half here, inch and a half here. Now I can see exactly the angle and the bevel that's going to be on the hip. I mean, this draws out everything. It's like, it's quick, it's fast. You could do it in like 10 minutes on a job site. Now, I'm not going to explain to you right now these lines and these lines. These lines are actually uh, inside corners. So you can figure out where to place your hip, your where to place your valley. So this point is where your valley is at. And this point 